Like, in addition to what just went live, there's stuff I haven't seen. There. The shards of the Epoch are safe. I was worried for a moment. You mentioned those before. What are they? The Epoch. Oh, it's a Terra's most sacred artifact. Holding great power. The power to travel through time. Excuse me? If Raya were to get his talons on it, he would surely win the war. More than that, he'd be untouchable. You mentioned shards. Are there multiple epochs? Just one. Each shard is part of the whole. We keep them separated for protection. This responsibility makes the keepers what we are. DJ Spud? Sure. How many shards are with you? Two of them. The one I keep with me and the one from the vault. The third should be back at camp by now. The Heoborian champion should return with it soon. Lena sent him after it. Alone. I think you just used your potions. Yeah, I think the hotkey to turn on the potato is Alt-1, and 1 is use potion, so I just drank some potions turning into a potato. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Lena sent him after it alone. No. No. There's no time. You're carrying multiple. Isn't that dangerous? The alternative would be to leave one with Lena, drawing the Ostrich's attention to her. No. No, I could not let that happen. Potato steals the potions. So what now? Now, I find a new course of action. Take the epoch somewhere I can't reach. Which, speaking of... Let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena at once. Alright, let's get going. I must remind myself to find suitable provisions for Emberwing. Prey in this area upset a drake's stomach. Bolroth in particular. Could I, I would simply feed him soldiers that question our bond. Lol. I admit, I have a bias for the creature. He's strong and more reliable than half those under my command. Plus, we have both been marred by flames. While my wounds showed me the path to the Epoch, his granted ascendance. Emberwing was raised from his draconic form, reforged in Raya's image. Drops for last Epoch start tomorrow. Yeah, I had drops in the Twitch stream title because I thought Twitch was doing the drops today, but I was apparently one day off and someone pointed that out earlier and I, I removed it from the title. I may not be able to take flight, but with Emberwing's aid, I can once again feel the wind. Oh, how I've missed the limitless blue. All right, back to camp. Hmm, guess I can handle my bags while I'm here. Muckluck bobble, muckluck bobble, muckluck bobble. Hey, Groundwalker, thank you. Right. He's back, and it's all thanks to you. He's been quiet since he returned. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. Will do. Then we can begin our talks. You're back. What now? Now we must protect the Emok. Find a way Soraya won't get to them. Does he know about their power? Not fully. Itera left their secrets to us and to us alone. What's your plan? I have uh, ideas. Though Lena will disagree. Well, we are keepers after all. Protectors of Itera's past. <laughs> Collectors of lost history you sound almost sad do you think we've made a mistake pardon going through the motions keeping the shards hidden it's it's, it's all been ritual i feel as though drastic times are upon us it might be time yes oh no you know about them too fate has already shown its hand i apologize you might become part of something greater 
What do you mean? I only have two shards, but that's enough. I'll keep them safe. Lena, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry to you too. This is what's best for us all. With the epoch's power, I'll finally be able to. Ah, I've been kidnapped! Someone call the police! This is a potato napping! Where am I? It appears to be one of the shards of the epoch that Balthus had. It looks like it has only been here as long as you have. Balthus and the other shard are nowhere in sight. Take the shard. We're in the future. What is this place? The spirits, they are in pain. Diablo or LE? Which Diablo? D2? It's close. D3? Eh. D4? It's not close. What about D1? D1 was a classic. It was a wonderful game for its time. Amazing. Groundbreaking. It set trends. However... I, if I went back and played D1 today, I would certainly not be having more fun playing that than I would be having playing Last Epoch. Hmm. Like, there's not even a skill tree in D1, you know? Like, the, the character customization is way more limited in D1. Could be fun to go back and play for nostalgia reasons, but you could clear the whole game in, like, eight hours. Uh, why are you here? Where is here? Don't play dumb. I, I'm not playing. I am actually dumb. Only rangers and elders are allowed out here. Oh, good. I'm a ranger main. Everyone knows that. Still, you don't look like a cultist. That's because I'm not. The way Void leeches off of them. Hmm. My scrying runes would be going off the second I saw you. That's not to say there aren't any cultists nearby, so let's both be careful. Come, I'll take you back to Last Refuge. Last Refuge? Are you well in the head? Look around you. Dark tar that consumes everything around us. The Void. Last Refuge is the only place to stay or steer clear of it. If you're not from there, then let's hope our elders don't find any corruption on you, eh? Okay. Did you know you can make a hardcore character without much consequences? Uh, I don't really care about hardcore right now. Maybe at some point in the future, but be playing hardcore on your first play... Like, for me, they've changed so much since I last did a playthrough of the campaign. There's bosses I don't even know yet. And there's going to be mechanics that'll be like, you know, when the boss does this, you need to jump on one leg or you die. And it'll be silly, and I'll have some stupid deaths, and being in hardcore for that would just be silly. And I'm not going to do the thing the PoE hardcore crowd does, which is when they're about to die, they're like, <gasps> and then they just, do, they just slam a button and quit the game. Uh, you know, I, I, they have an eject key. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Wolf leveled up. More cold damage and stun chance. Hmm. Just flat strength. Saves got me mode. Working on it. Now, granted, there are times I enjoy the thrill of playing hardcore, but for my first playthrough of a game, uh, it, it's just something I don't want to do. Watch over you. you there. I do not recognize you. Uh, a guard sent me. I come from outside. Still, you have a presence about you, as if... Hmm... Do you have a shard on you? It's a long story. I'm protecting it. Protecting it? We need it to protect us! 
I will get to the bottom of how and why you have it later. What's important is that we present this to the council immediately. Whether our wards have fallen by a shard misplaced or you're simply the foretold ho holder we've heard so much about, we must find out. Foretold holder? Yes, long story. For now, find Guard Captain Bravon in the city. He will ensure you're presented to the rest of the elders. Why don't you take it to him? I'm in no shape to go back there, and I do not want to face Void along the way. Anyway, enough talk. Get to the council chambers at once. I. The way this guy's the hat is, I feel like like Casey Jones. <laughs> yes. You there? If you're not fighting off the void, you need to go back to the surface. Uh, I have a shard; it can help. What? But the council chambers are the city center. Uh, I must do this, please. Very well. Since you're heading out, I grow worried that Elder Erza is trapped inside. If you find him, try uh, taking him with you. He's persistent, but overestimates himself. God be with you. Year 1290. So we're over 1200 years in the future from where we were. I mean, it's no 40k, but all right. Minimus. You stupid mutt. You fought them off, but it's too late for me, but there are others trapped in the outskirts. Please help them evacuate to the council chambers. I'll help. Thank you. Wick and the rest of my regiment are trapped just past the bridge ahead. We tried to save Grund, but he's still defending his damn beast. Elder Moss Burn was escorting a group as well, but they got separated. Once you found them, find Captain Leora in the council chambers. As for me, Captain Bravon will take care of Minimus, even if he has to drag the mud away from my body. Aww. His dog is staying with him. Oh, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll walk that off. That's cool. Oh, he's dead. Oh, talk to him. You there. I don't know who you are, but I can see you fight. Get to the council chambers and ask for aid as soon as you can. I'm here to relay orders to evacuate. Get out of here. Farewell. Surely that cage will land fine. Nope, they're dead too. That seems to be a thing. Don't take don't take the elevators here. <laughs> Dude, every ten feet we see some guy getting killed. I wonder if they change the companion limit at some point. I swear early game Primalist, the last time I played this, had two wolves. But I got one wolves. Skill unlocked. Maelstrom. Ow. I remember in Grim Dawn, you could set it to auto pick up crafting materials. Can you do that in this game? I mean, it's not a huge thing having to click on them. I'm just wondering if it's possible. Mm. Two more points till Storm Crows. Uh, what was that? No, they intentionally not allowed for that so far. It's a point of contention. 
I swear. I know a way to chart. Hang on. Uh, Cause I keep my old playthroughs on the Mucklet Plays YouTube channel. Uh, and one of my old playthroughs, I played a primalist. I'm gonna try this out. Me, 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 me. Did I have more than one? Mm, no. Okay, I'm wrong. I started with one. I played this in this this playthrough was in 22, and I had one wolf at level one. Okay. Well, there we go. Wolf straight right side. Oh, wait. How do I see what my max number of summons... Okay, like, I know I have one wolf out. But what is my max number of summons? Two. Alright, so I can have two companions, but un unless I get this trait, I can only have one of each companion. Okay, but I've been going toward this, which will let me have two wolves or three companions. Alright. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Brings you here. What are these creatures? They're slaughtering my beasts and driving them mad. I cleared a path. Get out of here. Itera's grace be with you. Beastmaster gets plus one companion passively. Yep. That's why I'm going for it. Also, the scorpion. Scorpion was my favorite. Because it didn't need to do high impact damage. It didn't need to do high crit because it had poison. It could even summon the baby scorpions, and that was more poison. It was a pet with pets. Are you playing online or offline? Offline! And everything is going great. I was planning on this being a solo character anyway, and then people kept telling me that online was having problems because it was like a rocky launch, so I was like, all right, I'll play offline. Only a little longer. That's what she said. <laughs> What is that? I can see poison stacking up on him from that trait. You can do SSF or trading. I mean, I'm in offline mode, so I'll be getting the uh, the magic find thing. Would you recommend this game? Yes, Fergie, I would. What? Oh, you, I know why you're here, and I will accept your thanks by allowing you to repay me with a favor. <laughs> Allow me to what? I know this looks grim, but we have to keep hope. We must believe that we'll survive this, that I'll survive this. I believe in our survival so much, I need you to go through my quarters and find my ledger. Why do you need a ledger at a time like this? Just in case any fools might think the disaster somehow erases the debts they owe me. In return, I'll share one of the trinkets I liberated from the slums before I rescued you. Except is the man. only option. You may find a treasure, my friend. Can I have your ear for a moment? Or if you're feeling lucky, would you like to gamble? Yeah? Why, I couldn't help but over here. This chamber just echoes like mad. I have no idea how those stuffy elders do business in here. But I hear you've met Erza. I would like to present you with an offer. Okay. Fantastic. I knew you had a head on your shoulders the moment you walked in here. You see that ledger of his has information about me. I would very much like to disappear, if you catch my meaning. What would you think of this ledger uh, of his, say, made its way to me? 
Sounds like a plan. Splendid. Trust me, you're doing the right thing. Not just for me, but for everyone who su survives this disaster and would rather not have Erza on their backs. But for me especially. You have my gratitude, or will shortly though. Hey, don't that go is. getting yourself killed. You. I can sense that you have a shard of the Epoch. But that is impossible. Who are you? Tell Elder Gaspar how you gained the shard. I see. We have relied on the power of our shard for ages. All was assuming the others were lost, and it seems only tapping into a fraction of its potential. You were brought forward in time by the shard. If you want to return to your time, we will need to use them together. If the void does not consume us first, of course. Shouldn't chat be off in online mode? That's an excellent question. But I am in offline mode. I don't know why it's showing chat. I don't mind. Mm, but I don't know. Um, Let's see. How are you planning to deal with the void? Elder Panion is an expert at using the shard. He can weaponize it against the void. I have received word that his study is under attack. We may be out of time. What can I do? Everyone here is either too old or too injured to go warn Elder Panion. Except for you. Please, find him and have him return here before something terrible happens. Please, take these idols with you. An idol of Logan to guard you against chaos and one of a terror to guide you home. Wherever that may be, the gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. Be safe. Idol Travel. slots plus four. Ah, yes, idols. So these are similar to Diablo 2's charms. Similar, not quite the same. Uh, so it's like a different inventory, but for example, I could have that there, or I could have that there, but obviously both of them won't fit with the limited space I've got. This is increased minion lightning damage and personal lightning damage, and this one is just increased minion poison damage and personal poison damage. Uh, I do have some lightning damage, so I guess I'll use that one. Okay. And let's go to the merchant. Yes. Does totem count as a minion? Yes, it does. And this is this is minion damage. All right, we'll, we'll do that. And I'll throw that in there for now. Follow your feet. Wee. Mark set your loot filter. Uh oh, that's right. Where is where is that in this game? That's not it. Where did they put it? Grim Dawn, it was down here. Where did they put it in this one? It's Shift F. Thank you. Hide normal items. Hide blue items. There we go. I think that's good for now. We're pretty low level. Impossible. Totems count as minions. Apparently. You can, uh, yeah, totems are minion, totem, and attunement, it says. Oh 
experience shrine. Hmm. Heirs' ledger. On the crowd of deaths, it's a large, well-worn ledger. Peek into it. Grund. Converted debt comes to a dozen bundles of meat and four casks of Grohl milk. Note, Grund's recent financial issues have become worse. Adjust debt conversion to reduce the difficulty of repayment. To reduce the difficulty of repayment. Well, that sounds nice. Sable, 500 gold marks and two dozen rations. Note, deceased. Debt nullified. Gemis, 1,200 gold marks. Deceased, debt nullified. Return jewelry held as collateral to nearest relative or associate. Yo, this is like a nice debt collector? What? Artem, debt repayment not likely. Note, I must refuse to play more games of chance with Artem. Empire bones, oracle cards, and even betting on beetle fights. He keeps losing and only increases his debt. He was such a jerk, it made you think he was like an evil, mean guy. to the council chambers. Wait. Oh, we didn't finish the evacuation quest. I'll go back there. I don't want to skip side quests, because so far the rewards have been skill points and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Interesting. The map still stays. Uh, like, I can still see where I've been. But the monsters have respawned. He's fine. Don't worry about him, chat. Uh, need one more point there. Oh, one of the monster, the the prison monster things. Experiments. More poison chance. Uh, I don't know, let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. I'm kind of glad I got this Atera's Blessing thing. So it's, it's just kind of like having a second healing potion on a separate cooldown. Fighting a really in soul here with the way this guy keeps having stuff orbit around him. Experimental leather gloves. Ward on kill, ward decay threshold. Uh, uh, eh. I don't think so. Are there iframes when you do that leap? Um, I actually don't know. I was just trying to, like, go from one side of him to the other to avoid the beam. But I'm not certain if it worked the way that my brain was hoping it was going to work. The void is tearing last refuge apart. We tried fleeing, but all the destruction has turned this void place into a maze. I've doomed the people who trusted me to lead them out. I've cleared a path. Flee. What? You have my thanks. Quickly, let's leave this place. Stay safe.